What up, ladies and gents? Welcome to another SOD video. This time we're going to be looking at Priest Talents and Runes for PvP and PvE uh, as Shadow in Phase 2, which is going to be level 40. And we're going to start out with PvP, and we're going to work through that, talk a little bit about why I've chosen certain talents, that kind of thing. Then we're going to pick the runes out, I'll talk a little bit about those and what the options are, and then we're going to move on to PvE. So to start out, we're going to take 5 out of 5 in Blackout, very strong talent overall, as you all know, and we're going to continue on to drop two points in pain and although the, the pain rank is a little bit lower in this phase i believe it's trained at 36 with the next rank coming in at 42 so we do miss out a little bit on, on, on the pain damage there but it's still a decent talent because of the other options in this, this sort of part of the tree so to proceed we kind of want to put a few points into spirit tap and this is gonna allow you to regen a fair bit of mana in both world pvp and bgs if you're going to be sniping kills with death this is going to be very, very handy, and Shadow definitely struggles a little bit with mana, so this will help out a lot in that regard. Next up, of course, taking two in Imp Fear and Mindflay. Mindflay getting a little bit more power now. It was a little bit weak at the 25 phase, but at the 40 phase, it's going to be a lot stronger, especially with all the other Shadow talents that we're going to be picking up, and with the potential to run the Twisted Faith rune. So we've got a couple of points now that we need to take to, to progress further. So I'm going to put one in Shadow Focus. Now, you can put a second one here, and it really does depend on how much hit you have on your gear. If you don't have any hit on your gear, I recommend putting a second one, and that will cover the 3% cap. If you do have some hit on your gear, and you should have at least some through the boots from tailoring, if you're running tailoring, then you will be able to put an extra point in Spirit Tap. Now, Shadow Focus does work on Shadow Resistance. However, there isn't much Shadow Resistance at all in the level 40 Nomragan raid. So we kind of... Uh, Get a little bit lucky here there was a lot of shadow res at, at 25 so we don't need as much in shadow focus at 40 which is really nice next up we're going to take three in shadow reach and we're going to put some points into shadow weaving or say we go all five into shadow weaving then we put five into darkness obviously we're taking silence and vamp embrace as mandatory and then the last point will be going into shadow fall so for raiding uh shadow or dungeons at level 40 you're going to want to spend spec something like this you want to grab a spirit tap to keep your mana up in between pulls if you happen to get a last hit, which you can look to snipe with death. Then you're going to want to put two points in Improved Pain, two in Shadow Focus. And this is going to help against the bosses, which are most likely going to be regarded as two levels above the player. Normally in Classic, bosses are regarded as three levels above the player. However, there's not enough spell hit on the gear at lower levels. So Blizzard have adjusted this for SOD to just two levels above the player, making your hit cap actually 5% instead of around 16%. Next, you're going to put some points in Shadow Affinity. And again, this is something that potentially you can do less of it depends on how the threat is looking and how much threat tanks actually generate at level 40 if they're generating vast amounts of threat and threat is not a problem for shadow then you'll be able to take some points out of this next up we're going to put a point in mind flay and summon improved mind blast i'm going to put points in shadow reach and shadow weaving one in vamp embrace and now we have the option to put another one in improved mind blast to get down to darkness five in darkness and then one in shadow fall okay, the runes will look something like this i assume we're going to be running Void Plague. However, Twist of Faith might actually sim to be more DPS. I'm not entirely sure on that yet. Keep posted on that one. Hands is going to be Death, of course. Waist is going to be Mind Spike. Legs is going to be uh, Homunculite or Shadow Fiend, depending on the fight length. Most likely, Homunculite is going to be a more DPS overall, and they will provide more raid DPS with things like the Armor Pen. However, Shadow Fiend is obviously going to provide you with more mana, but keep in mind that this is something potentially that you could swap. And then the last is going to be Dispersion. Now, it's worth keeping in mind, we're still not entirely sure whether or not Shadow Fiend is going to be a rune or a quality of life spell. So stay tuned on that one. 